What I wish I had known is the same thing that I hope our country can learn to remember. And that is that accountability is real. I think this is a great program. It is so important that we talk to the next generation about what leadership truly is because they're going to be our future leaders. When General Franks uh, told me about the uh, four-star leadership and, and, and he and I share the same frustration, anything we can do with the young people to turn that around. Accountability is what builds work ethic and work ethic is what prepares people for success. Ask the question, what will the world look like if I achieve my purpose? That is vision. Character is the complete sum of moral traits that defines your priorities in life. No way you can be a good leader if you don't have a good character because nobody can trust what you say or really you don't have anything to like hold you to your beliefs unless you have a good character and you have integrity. So integrity is so important. And the thing, again, that I will tell you that was frustrating for me in Washington, D.C., was the fact that people would wake up every day and give away their integrity. Okay, I think four of them are connected to each other. So, um, like, character is most important because character is like the way that people see you and like what, what it defines you as a leader. So it's like, if you want to be, be a leader, you have to build your character. I guess it's kind of like what everyone said, character is who you are when no one's looking. Character is all of yourself stripped down. It's what you are at your core. It's who you are as a person. Be pure. Be honest with yourself. Listen to what other people have to say. Read, learn experiment, find out what works for you, and then commit to it. If a person is denied the access to fuel via A and PR cameras, the right to travel individually is being infringed on. Why? Because the people thought the public funds should be diverted to different areas. I'm going to examine this in two separate points. My day was amazing. I learned so much about different philosophies on leadership, but Yet one thing I noticed was that all of those philosophies had common threads running through them. Being yourself, not letting other people make you what they want you to be, being honest in your actions because if you aren't, you're going to end up having one bad mistake overshadow everything that you do that is good. My favorite speaker, I actually had two. It was Brian Bush uh, on the story of 9-11 and uh, Michelle, Michelle Smith. The better you can communicate, the better you're going to be able to relate with people. But I think a lot of people forget that communication is not a one-way channel, it's a two-way channel. So it's listening as well as being able to give the information to people. And then you have to try to figure, you have to be good at reading your target audience and saying, are they understanding what I'm saying or are they getting the message that I'm trying to relay? Because a lot of times you may be saying one thing, but your target may be hearing something completely different. You want to be able to listen. That is the most important thing. And that's why General Franks and the Wayne Newtons and the, the people that are so successful is because they listen. And I know you want to talk, especially at a young age, you've got a lot to say, but listening is the, the best thing you'll ever do. Listen, react, act. Because if you're, if you're a great listener, you'll listen to what those people are saying. You react to that, acknowledge what they said, and it makes them feel better that, that they know you heard what they said, and then act. I've seen that communication has played a vital role in uh, the things we have done. We've seen how we were communicating with one leader and several leaders and how it like, affected us. And we were put into like, different challenges where we had to do, where we needed, we needed to have a leader to direct us. And we as people, we had to like, listen to him. It's because not only does it lead people to the correct direction, and without it, like, it's like, for me, it's the most important one of them all. And it's because, like, nowadays, communication has become even more important because of the use of the technology and social media. You have a republic if you can keep it. You have a country in Jordan if you can keep it. Because when you personalize that, you will find the means by which you can step up and be a leader. But let me tell you, first and foremost, as I learned from the man sitting to my right. Being a good leader, first you must be a good follower.
leaders are attracted to and always serve something greater than themselves. There's always a leadership void. We're always looking for more leaders, whether it's in the private sector or the public sector. And leadership, you just, you're not just born with leadership. You can't just graduate high school and just have enough leadership or graduate college and have enough leadership. Servant leadership, the ability to do whatever needs to be done without saying, whoa, 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 that's not my job description. Leadership is important because there has to be someone to do it. And it's gonna be us. We're the future leaders of not only America, but Jordan, Germany, all over the world. And one day the leaders that are there now, they're gonna step down and we gotta be able to fill those shoes. I wanna be something important in the future. And like, I don't want just like to go at a, to a place of not having like, a, like not making a difference. Be prepared to work hard and be prepared to share your insights with other people. So the responsibilities lie on sincerity, integrity, and following those orders. Because not all employees deserve to be at the end of the day. Employees must work hard and they must earn the respect of their managers. In this case, Mulan works late, given by the fact that she stays over time to cook her own meals. I believe when you get in an environment that you're not so comfortable with, it helps you to grow because you get to look at different viewpoints and things of that nature. And I'm a big believer that uh, with awareness and understanding of diversity, you can build a foundation for success. Leadership is the ability to take a diverse group of people and get them focused to the accomplishment of a singular goal. Four Star Leadership with General Tommy Franks is something that is very genuine, unique opportunity. And oftentimes you'll see a name on the t-shirt and the name doesn't really mean anything. He's so humble. And that's what I think I love about him is because he's from Oklahoma, I'm from Oklahoma. He's got that southernness about him that just makes him so much more personable than a four-star general. I look up at that and I'm like, wow. And he looks at us and he's like, wow. Like, how that's even fathomable, I don't understand. To strive to be excellent in your efforts, and the outcomes are always going to vary a little bit because there are different circumstances that, that can relate. But, you know, my big thing is, is that, you know, give a little bit extra, give a little bit more, take an extra 30 minutes, really be aware of self. Not so much what they think, but how to think, how to become a leader, and, and getting a little bit of a head start in that is, a, I think, it's a, a tremendous asset to this country. And, and, and this world. This is a unique program that offers these young people something they can't get anywhere else. Uh, when you're talking about this level of world leader that they're interacting with, this level of global thinking, that's not happening anywhere else. And when we put those things in front of these young people and actually give them an opportunity to wrestle with it, amazing things happen. You guys are the ones that we have faith are going to be able to solve those problems. You guys are the ones that we're putting our money on. It was challenging, it was tiring, it was busy, but overall it was definitely fulfilling and nothing like I could have ever expected. It's a continuous journey. Uh, for example, the fact that the 50 of you have gotten the opportunity to get together and get the chance to know the other 49 people here and experience a lot of things with them gives you a responsibility and a purpose when you go back for your senior year, you're in a position to provide leadership and to provide growth opportunity for your classmates next year. There's a bigger room than this. There's a bigger room than, than where you are now. There's a bigger school than you're gonna to go to. There's a great big world out here, so understand it. Take part in it. Don't let ego drive and don't think you're better than the next person or you'll fail. Well, my dad, because of who he was, had a philosophy, yes, I do win this. The moral of that is be a person that Mr. Crookham talked about. Nothing's below you. Be part of a team spelled with a capital T. Do whatever needs to be done in order to get the job done. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. There's a land that I heard of once in a long 
lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And a dream that you dare to dream Really might come true Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops Away above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Somewhere over that rainbow Blue birds fly If birds fly over the rainbow Why then why can't I? If little bitty blue birds fly Beyond the rainbow Why oh why can't I? There you go. All right. <laughs>